Alright guys, I'll just take one minute of your precious time. Just wanted to let all of you know that if you want to practice all these questions using artificial intelligence and practice on a portal which is as similar as your actual PT exam which will give you exact scores which you are likely to get in your exam just register on languageacademy.com.au you can practice as many questions on top of that you can get instant feedback instant scores and instant suggestions on what other things you need to work on and how to improve your mistakes and turn them into your strength you can also take a full scored mock test you'll get a full scorecard you'll get in-depth analysis you'll get tutors feedback one mock test is available for free and four sectional mock tests are available for free. You just need to go on languageacademy.com.au, register over there, use Google Chrome, log in and practice and make sure you get your desired score at the earliest. Now you can continue with the video or you can just log on to languageacademy.com.au and practice all these questions over there as well. All the very best. I'll see you very soon. In the last 50 years there has been no apparent increase in personal happiness in Western nations, despite steadily growing economies. In both Europe and the USA surveys have found no greater level of happiness since the 1950s, which seems strange since wealthier people generally claim to be happier than poorer people. In America, for example, more than a third of the richest group said they were very happy, while only half this number of the poorest made the same claim. Although it would be logical to expect that rising national wealth would lead to greater national happiness, this has not happened. Individually, more money does seem to increase happiness, but when everyone gets richer, no one appears to feel better. Economists have recently paid more attention to studying happiness, instead of the more traditional GDP per person. One suggestion has been that people rapidly get used to improvements, and therefore devalue them. Central heating is a good example. Whereas 30 years ago it was a luxury item, today it is standard in nearly every home.
Australia is a continent that experiences a variety of climates due to its size. The temperature can range from below zero in the snowy mountains in southern Australia to extreme heat in the Kimberley region in the northwest of the continent. Due to the size of the continent, there is not one single seasonal calendar for the entire continent. Instead there are six climatic zones and this translates as two main seasonal patterns. There is a summer, autumn, winter, spring pattern in the temperate zone, also affecting the desert and the grassland climatic zones and, a wet, dry pattern in the tropical north which includes the equatorial, tropical and sub-tropical zones. Depending upon where you are each month, the season will vary on whether the weather is defined by the temperate zone seasons or the tropical seasons.
At the time of the Titanic's maiden voyage in 1912, the ship was confidently proclaimed to be unsinkable. Her builders, crew and passengers had no doubt that she was the finest ship ever built. But still she did sink on April 14, 1912, taking 1,517 of her passengers and crew with her. The Titanic had 16 lifeboats which could carry just over half the number of people on board and only a third of the Titanic's total capacity. The belief that the Titanic was unsinkable was so strong that passengers and crew alike clung to the belief even as she was actually sinking. Not realizing the magnitude of the impending disaster themselves, the officers allowed several boats to be lowered only half full. The officers were afraid the lifeboats would buckle under the weight of the passengers as they had not been informed that the lifeboats had been fully tested prior to departure. As the Titanic sank, another ship, believed to have been the Californian, was seen less than 20 miles away. The Californian's wireless operator slept unaware while 1,500 Titanic passengers and crew drowned only a few miles away. Dating is never easy. Never mind first impressions and the getting to know you awkwardness, the internet has created a world where every foible, every flaw, every little thing, both literally and figuratively, is on display for the all the world, including potential dating partners, to see. Surviving any worst case scenario comes down to not panicking, having a plan, and ultimately being prepared. David Borgenicht, author of the complete worst case scenario survival handbook, Dating and Sex, told the Chicago Tribune in an interview. And this applies to the realm of dating. In electronics there's an understanding that silicon and other elements are responsible for bringing our gadgets to life, while plastic serves as the supporting structure. But what if that plastic could be both the brains and the brawn? Better yet, what if plastic was pliable enough to form all sorts of wearable electronics and even implantable medical devices? In fact, 
electronics made from conductive plastic have been in the works for at least a decade. One of the difficulties has been overcoming a loss of conductivity when plastic electronics are stretched too far. A team of researchers from the US, South Korea and China say, they have found a way to keep an electrical connection, even after stretching their specially made plastic more than four times its normal size. Sound and touch may seem completely separate, except possibly when playing the game Operation. But it turns out that the two senses are actually quite entwined. A new study finds that people with hearing issues often also have problems with touch. Researchers compared sets of twins, some identical and some fraternal. The identical twins, obviously, have the same genome and thus the same mutations. The fraternal twins have genetic differences, other subjects in the study were congenitally deaf. To determine how acute their hearing was, the subjects reported whether they could hear various high frequencies. To evaluate touch they were asked to differentiate different surfaces with their fingertips. Some ecotourism offers visitors close encounters with different species, but new research suggests that these activities may not be so great for the animals. Researchers tagged stingrays in Stingray City in the Cayman Islands to monitor their movements and behavior. Compared to stingrays outside of the tourism area, those in Stingray City switched their activity patterns from night to day, when tourists handed out food, and made it year-round instead of seasonally. The stingrays also had more bite marks, which suggests increased aggression towards one another. The study is in the journal PLOS One. 
Past research has found increased stress and more intra- and interspecies aggression among animals that have been fed by humans. Interactive tourism is a growing business. The phrase six degrees of separation suggests that only a minuscule measurement is what divides one person from another. Today, the Internet of Things IoT, has decreased those degrees dramatically, connecting us not only to each other, but to everything from our fitness trackers to our coffee makers. Consider this, according to a recent report by the Federal Trade Commission, the number of Internet-connected devices tops 25 billion worldwide. And that number is expected to double in the next five years, according to experts cited in the report. In a world where everyone and everything is connected, digital security is a must-have, just as important as the lock on your front door or the keys to your house. Technology is revolutionizing the way consumers use cars, homes, workspaces and everyday items, Representative Daryl Issa, R. Califf, told USA Today in a recent interview. These devices raise both opportunities and questions about regulatory policy, spectrum space, privacy and more. Underscoring ESA's concerns are high-profile hacks, including one that took remote control of a Jeep on a busy highway. Experts warn who consumers need to understand that, although convenient, the IoT is an interconnected system, and security is needed to prevent a weakness in one device like a smartwatch from becoming an open door to attack in another device such as a connected car. The good news is that sensitive industries such as banking, government, and healthcare have worked with companies like Gamalto, a global leader in digital security, to solve difficult security challenges. While most may not recognize the name Gamalto, experts say that almost everyone uses at least one or two of the company's solutions, which are embedded in a wide variety of connected devices, credit cards, passports, and ID badges.
Decorating can be one of the most exciting times during your experience as a homeowner. Not only are you creating the essence of your home, you are also adding your very own personal touch and style. One of the easiest ways to add unique spice to an ordinarily drab room, incorporate exceptional work. Many of my clients are simply amazed at how effective a colorful painting can be at bringing new life to a room that has become tired, says Matthew Johnston, an artist known for his vibrant tall tulips paintings. However, as easy as it sounds, purchasing and hanging a painting on the center of the wall isn't going to cut it in most cases. Johnston offers his advice to ensure your next painting purchases work with your room rather than against it. Large high traffic rooms for family rooms, living rooms and rooms off the kitchen, Johnston recommends figurative diptych paintings to create a story within each area. Diptych paintings consist of two separate panels that hang together and work as one. In my figurative diptych paintings, each figure has their own physical space, yet they are a couple, says Johnston. Their face is cropped, and viewers can imagine themselves as being in the painting. The viewer has to look to other parts of the painting to imagine a story. Each individual person can create a different story for the painting. In America, people enjoy individual freedoms, and for the most part, they are able to express them as long as they don't restrict the rights and freedoms of others. Many people adopt a live and let live attitude that is based on respect for the rights and sovereignty of others but that promotes the rights of competent adults to be responsible for their own lives, property, money, and time. Attorney Mark J. Victor is president of the Arizona and Hawaii-based Attorneys for Freedom law firm. Mr. Victor and his associates at Attorneys for Freedom are representative of a business supporting the Live and Let Live movement. The firm, which accepts cases nationally, is committed to the ideals of the movement and the qualified team is ready to assist individuals with a range of issues in criminal, civil rights, and personal injury law.
You know what's even more contagious than a cough or sneeze? A deep, rumbling belly laugh that leaves your sides aching and your eyes streaming. Laughter isn't only the best medicine, it boosts immunity, lowers stress hormones and helps prevent heart disease. If laughter is what the doctor ordered, patients must start getting in line to see the latest film from the creators of the uproarious American Pie franchise, The Pool Boys. As encouraged by the magazine Scientific American Mind, laughter actually reduces stress by easing tension and relaxing muscles, which keeps you more focused and productive. Your daily dose of laughter is as important as your dose of fiber or vitamin C. Throughout the years, technology has improved drastically, creating machines and devices that were unimaginable 50 years ago. And perhaps the most advanced and interesting of society's technological advancements is robots, but it is also the most misunderstood. In fact, according to recent Pew Research, more than 70% of Americans express concern about a world in which machines perform many of the tasks done by In America, people enjoy individual freedoms, and for the most part, they are able to express them as long as they don't restrict the rights and freedoms of others. Many people adopt a live and let live attitude that is based on respect for the rights and sovereignty of others but that promotes the rights of competent adults to be responsible for their own lives, property, money, and
For some people, this proposition may seem far-fetched, but ending poverty is both morally necessary and actually feasible. All of us must play a role in making it happen. All human beings want, and have a right to live in dignity, to determine our own destinies, and to be respected by other, by other people. Despite the universality of these rights, our capacities to fulfill them vary enormously, and no dividing line is more profound in influencing the quality of our lives than the gulf between poverty and prosperity. No that was, and that's an important aspect, as you alluded to earlier we've previously done work which has proven that in some situations, even people whose blood pressure is not high, can benefit from blood pressure lowering therapy. So in this study the main reason that we included the patients was because of diabetes, we didn't care what their blood pressure was, whether it was high or low, and our objective was to see whether or not lowering average or below average blood pressure in diabetics was beneficial and the result suggested that irrespective of whether your blood pressure was high or low, if you had diabetes you benefited. Contracts can help to solve misunderstandings between businesses. Contracts can help to solve misunderstandings between businesses. Some students prefer to learn by images and pictures.
Some students prefer to learn by images and pictures. The majority of academic publications are in English. The majority of academic publications are in English. It is doubtful whether projects can be finished this week. It is doubtful whether projects can be finished this week. Now crack your PTE sitting at your home. Language Academy brings to you the smartest AI-powered practice portal, with instant scores and feedback for all the tasks. Along with the practice questions, access free sectional and full mock tests, and get instant scorecard with in-depth feedback and analysis. For more hidden secrets, tips, strategies, and proven templates, click the link below and subscribe to our video course today.